Was it me and you talking about that? Or was it me and CK talking about that? Yeah. Please, 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 Knicks, do not in a million years trade for Andre Drummond. Absolutely not, JLs. I no. will not go for that whatsoever, bro. Nah. Whatsoever. Um, yeah. Whatsoever. Not, here, here's the thing. I feel like he's better than what you say he is, CP, but that doesn't mean I want him on the Knicks. <laughs> you know, Listen. like, it just doesn't make any sense. He's a center. It makes and we no have a center sense. we want want to be the center of the future. Why we don't need to just keep taking more and more minutes no. away from people no. we need want to see no. in the future. He makes twenty seven million dollars. No, after next he, he might. Yeah, how much more money you think he's gonna want after this? Yeah, we're gonna Come have on, to people sign him. Cause I feel like people are saying he might opt out, and then when he, we we trade assets because they're saying that we have to give up. Um, they're interested. They're Detroit. They're they're trying to clean house. Lakers yeah, exactly. They, 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 they value they him so much, JLs, that they want a clean house. That's all, all right. you need to know about this guy. He's not an impact player. That is my point, man. That is my point. They have zero playoff wins with, with this guy there since he's been there. Okay? He's coming in with two years left on his contract. Going to look to re-up. You already have Mitch here, who's your prototypical positionless basketball center. Look at what Jackson Hayes just did tonight, JLs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at what Jackson mm-hmm. Hayes just did to us tonight. Andre Drummond, he's a good player. He gets his numbers. He gets his points. He gets his rebounds. He's ferocious out there. Do not get me wrong. But what I'm saying is he's not the guy that can give you that versatility that, that you need. On the offensive end, he doesn't space the floor. On the defensive end, you're not going to be able to switch with him. So what is the point? Why, why block Mitch with Andre Drummond? Nah, it doesn't make he's not twenty seven million dollars worth of good. And, and then and then invest that money in him makes no sense. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, it, it just makes no sense to me. Now Shams is saying that uh, that the Knicks held exploratory talks for Drummond, just inquiry. But Begley makes it seem like there was more to it. Begley makes it seem like they're they're interested in Andre Drummond. Scary, scary times. This is scary. This is this is. I don't know. I'm going to have to find tape of them saying how they wasn't going to trade uh, assets for people. Like, I have to find that tape because I know Detroit, they, they're not going to want Randall. And even so, I wouldn't trade Randall for him either. Like, I know, like, no, no. Randall is on a, a friendlier contract. He can at least spread the floor a little bit. Like, I'm no, nah, it, it doesn't it, make sense. It just doesn't make sense, it doesn't, man. It, makes sense. it just does not make sense, man. Look at how these teams in the NBA are playing. They are playing small. They are playing more versatile. It doesn't mean that that's that's gonna be what it is forever. You know what I'm saying, JLS? I don't want to. I don't want to put it that way. Like the league is just going like smaller forever, and you still can even if you had a lineup of Andre Drummond, uh, 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 Marcus Morris, and Randall, you can still take advantage of teams with your size. But right. m- the, the large majority of the teams in the league, they're going smaller, bro. More versatile, much more smaller. Yeah, it makes it like, it, it makes it so you can't, it really doesn't make sense to have most of your cap tied up. Yeah, exactly. And, and a bruising big man when most teams are going small and he's going to have to be out on front. Exactly, rest. exactly. Yes, you have some teams. Philadelphia plays bigger, right? Uh, uh, Toronto goes with Gasol at times. But the large majority of the teams, man, they're coming with more versatility down the paint. You didn't even know who New Orleans big man was tonight. Right? Favors, Favors was just in there doing his thing. Yeah. But then like, you had Alex Hayes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, too, like, I do, it would be nice to have a bruising big man to, to, to uh, kind of battle these big guys like Drummond or Sabonis or... <laughs> Like it would be nice to have one of those, but definitely not for no twenty-seven million when we have. Not for the money. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, not for the money. That's all I'm saying. Not for the money. Yeah, let's bring up Wooten. How about that? Yeah, how about we bring up Kenny Wooten? Send Ellington packing and get Ellington and get Kenny Wooten in here. Yo, free, yo, free, yo, free, yo, free Wooten, man. Free Free Kenny, man. Because because also in the news, 
Um, and we're going to get back to the call. Salute to everybody in the chat. But also in the news, JLs, is that there are multiple teams interested in Kenny Wooten. Boo! Boo! There Boo. are multiple teams Boo. interested in Kenny Wooten. So while we sit here... Stay away. And, and talk Andre Drummond, Kenny Wooten... And let, let's not let's not overrate him, you know. Let's not overrate him. I'm not overrating him. But I'm just saying, Steve Mills, Scott Perry. If you do not call up Kenny Wooten, I will never forget. Yeah. Him. Let's not overrate Kenny, but let's say that we are interested in the prospects of having Kenny on the team. Right? Is that fair? Fair to say? Yes, very fair. Extremely that's all, fair. That's all I'm it's saying. Fair, Damn, it's fair. That's all I'm saying. We want to see what this kid can do. That's all I'm saying. And and. The, I'm, Nick's at risk of losing. I'm I'm tight. I, I'll be tight. I'll be so tight because we had him in. The, we had him here for the G League. We had him here for the summer. Yeah. Mad hype. He had Nick's gear posted on his Instagram. Got it taken off his Instagram once he found out he was part of the team. To lose him to some ten day to some team. <laughs> we had him all the time and grooming him so. and snatching snatching the balls out the sky off a of block. Man, I'll be so tight. Yeah. I, I just don't under you know I don't understand and tomorrow night we're tomorrow afternoon sorry tomorrow at twelve we're gonna have uh my guy Chris from uh, Ridiculous Upside is gonna be on the show he covers the Westchester Knicks extensively so we're gonna break down more Kenny Wooten more Lamar Peters we're gonna break down just the whole process because the call up process for the G League is started January fifth so we'll see how that impacts the Knicks and what they're gonna have to do to get some of these guys up here so you guys got make sure you guys tune into the show tomorrow at twelve noon. Eastern mm-hmm. time. But yeah, JLS, I was just curious as to why Ivan Rob got that two way deal and Kenny didn't get the two way deal because Kenny Kenny was killing it in Summer League. Yeah, I was actually talking to Alex Wolf about that uh, last week and he was saying that he thinks it's um, a Fisdale, a Fisdale Connect thing. Like Memphis. Because kind of, Ivan yeah, Rob came from Memphis. Yeah, that might be like a Fisdale holdover. So uh, maybe that's why even more so why Kenny was kind of sour because he felt like he's a lock for the team. Interesting. Anyway. You know, Fizz probably just was like, I got, I know a guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting because based on my research, Ivan Rob wasn't known for his defense. So I don't know, just, just just interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, man. What do you guys think in the chat, man? Let, let us know what you guys think about the uh, Andre Drummond trade rumors and and Kenny. What do, what do we got to do with Kenny, man? Leave us a comment in the chat, and uh, we'll we'll read some of those chats in a second. All right, JLs, back to the phones. Let's go to our guy Will from LI. Will, how you feeling, bro? Hey, what's going up, y'all? CP Jazz. How you guys doing today? How you feeling, man? All right. Good, 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 good. Listen, man, I mean, I'm happy you guys got to it because I was just about to say no to Andre Drummond. It makes no sense. I saw it. I was just like, this is stupid. And then I saw, you know, Begley on it, and I'm just like, what's going on here? This makes no sense. We we, yeah. we got our guy and Miss, obviously, and then we just probably need a second big man, and obviously Kenny Wooden's doing his thing. So he could have definitely been that guy that we need. It makes no sense to drop, like bring the Brinks trust for a guy in Andre Drummond. And like, it, it makes no sense, honestly. And I, I really, and this is only a testament up to why we need to get rid of Steve Mill. Like, I don't remember the cat I always calls in just to make sure that we remember that. Steve yeah, Mill's got to go. Yeah, it's Delano. Delano. Mill's got to go. 